So hello, welcome to Coastal Crafts. I am back with another haul because today um, myself and Mr Coastal Crafts went to the Creative Craft Show. So we had a great time. Well, I had a great time. He just went around carrying stuff, but I had a great time shopping. Um, and there was, there was lots of stalls that were paper crafts. There were lots of stalls that were sewing. There were lots of stalls that were all sorts of things. Um, so I felt there was a really good range of stuff. There's just a couple of places that were there. I found leaflets lying around in my bags. I got lots and lots of bits and pieces. I felt <laughs> I deserved something. I don't know why. Um, but there we go. I'll show you what I've got. And yeah, let me know if you went to that show. Let me know if you're going to any of the other creative craft shows. I'm sure there are around the country so it's all going to be in quite a random order because it's just next to me and I've got a manga here as well so we will see what we can do so first of all I'll show you some kind of basic bits I picked up so I know I've got these other brushes um, for blending but I do like these ones as well for doing around the edges you know just inking the edges so I picked up some of these so they're 2 dollars and I like the little ones I actually prefer them to the big ones now. So yeah, I've got some of those. Um, I thought I would try this Kalal glue because I've heard a lot about it um, and I'll just give it a go, see what I think. So that was two pounds. Um, why not? Some cheaper glue. We'll give it a go. What other basics did I get? So I got some um, magnetic sheets because I'm going to try and sort out my dies those to the side they were 3 99 for a pack i got another pair of scissors now i already own this pair of scissors by tim holtz i've taken them out of packaging already because i had some time in the car as i was coming home i just well i'll just unpack stuff but i used my pair my other pair and i realized this was a mistake from about two seconds into doing it to open a can of paint that was really stiff and just messed up the blades really so I thought you know what I'm going to get another pair because I do like them um I don't necessarily use them for all my fussy cutting because I've got slight serrated blades I, I probably use little sewing scissors scissors from Fiskars more but I do really like these there's lots of things that you can do with a small pair of scissors aren't there and they are nice so yeah they were 7 99 for those ones and I saw a nice big pair of Fiskars I want for, for Christmas. So I pointed them out. So you never know. Um, two pounds for some clear embossing powder. The Wow embossing powder. I use clear embossing powder a lot these days. So I needed to get some more. Um, so those were the kind of not very exciting bits. I think there were some more not very exciting bits. So I thought I'd try this one. I've also opened this up as well. This is the Gemini Magnetic... And they called it a magnetic mat. It's essentially a magnetic sheet with a bit of a coating on top. Um, I don't have a Gemini. I've got a big shot, but I do need a magnetic sheet in my big shot because, you know, it's not new to, in order to make it cut. You know, I need that extra bit of pressure. So I thought this one might last a bit longer than the other magnetic sheets that I've been using that kind of get warped out of place. Um, so, and it's also got markings on. I don't know if I'll ever use, but... It looks very smart. So I did treat myself to that. I was kind of unsure and I was like, you know what? I'm here, I'm gonna go for it. Picked up some white card. I couldn't find the big pack of A4 white card that I wanted that I've been buying before, but I saw this one. It was $7.99, but you get absolutely loads of it. And it's the 6x6 Essential Car Block by Hunky Dory. And I've got quite a few Hunky Dory pits in this haul. because I do like Hunky Dory, but it's 300 GSM. Um, and it is, sorry about the lighting, I can't do much about that because it's at night. It is for me to do stamping on and things like that. So I need good quality card for doing that. And I'm just going to have this to hand whenever I'm doing stamping. I've got, I've got some nice quality card and it's nice and smooth. So it'd be nice for colouring and blending. So yeah, I picked that one up and I give that a go. Because one of the things I, I did know when I went that I knew I needed was white card. I'm looking through to see if there are any other boring basic bits in these bags. Um, this is another basic bit I expect. It's a retractable craft pick by Tim Holtz. I don't necessarily need this because I've got a pokey tool that um, my other half gave me that he just picked up from like screw fix or somewhere that's about 90p and this absolutely does the job but I'm constantly losing it. It's one of those tools that I use all the time but I keep putting down and can't find it and um, you know how I've got a bit of a thing for having the Tim Holtz products. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get this one as well. So if I've got two, there's less chance of me losing it. 
and you can take it in so that you don't poke yourself because I'm a bit accident prone. So it was £5.20, which seems quite a lot of money, but yeah, there's no reason why that should break at any point. That's, you know, it's only poking bits out of dyes and stuff, so that should last me a good long time. And you can hang it up, I guess. So yeah, got one of those. Um, any other boring bits in here? There's some more glue. So I know that people, when I bought a small one um, last time, everyone goes, you'll really love that glue. And I did really like the glue. So I've got a big one this time, £6.50. Um, the only issue I have is it does gunk up in the nozzle, but I think that happens with, with most glues that have a fine point. So it's difficult to do much about that. Um, these are all still basic things, what a lot of basic stuff. I picked up, got some tape 50p, that's not very exciting. I would have got more, but I can never remember if the cheap ones from the craft fair are actually any good or not. So I only got one. Um, then I got for £2.20, I do put the Poundland Yoohoo glue in these and use them for some fine work. Obviously Yoohoo glue dries virtually instantly, so it's quite nice to work with sometimes when you haven't got the patience to work for other glues. And it's obviously really cheap as well. So they work fine, but they don't last all that long. That's why you get three. So sort of use it for a month or two and then switch over to the next one. £2.20 and p Alright Mango, Mango's appeared half on the camera and she's not going to like this because this one is massive. So this is a, right Mango, you're going to have to scoot off for a second to try and get it in. This is a Sapphire Spellbinder Plus Magnetic Handy Mat. So I kind of felt that I needed a new mat because I've put a clean one of these down, but I've just used that. It was covered in paint. It's really dirty. Um, but this one was £6, which I didn't think was very bad. It's about A3 size, I suppose. So Mango's getting quite big now, isn't she? Um, I will open it up. I didn't do that in the car. But it says there's a magnetic strip somewhere. I'm not sure where. And also on the back. So I'll show you when I pull it out. So on the back, it is foam. So um, they say for like stamping, I don't stamp like that because I've got a stamping tool, but if you did stamp with an acrylic block, that would be useful. For getting stuff out of dyes, it's a nice bit. Um, also, you could use it for moulding flowers as well. Though I have got a flower moulding one. Um, but yeah, so I was quite, I thought, yeah, for £6, I think I'm going to give this one a go. And obviously, here's the other side. I know I've only shown you sort of part of it. So I start moving the camera around, it will all go crazy, but you can see in the pictures that you can use with it tool in one, you can stamp on it, it's self-healing, it's got a magnetic strip. So I can feel a magnet, I can't feel it there. So yeah, the magnetic strip is along the top. I can tell because I'm putting the scissors on, I can feel the pull. So yeah, it's along the top. So that will be useful because I do lose my dies quite a lot. So yeah I do like it I'm quite happy with that not that I've tried it out but I'm quite happy from initial thoughts so then we'll move on to treats <laughs> what treat things did I buy myself um let's have a look so I picked up a stamp set now I don't need stamp sets in any way shape or form form so yeah there aren't many stamp sets in this haul that's not too bad. So this was £5.50, but I liked it because of the trees and the deer. And I'm going to create Christmas cards with it. Christmas was quite a theme in this one because I'm getting quite excited about trying to get all my Christmas cards made, handmade this year. It's going to happen. So yeah, I like that. It's photopolymer. It's a woodware one. What do you think, Mango? Mm. She doesn't seem overly impressed, but she is a cat. Um, same place I got this mat. They were selling off Spellbinder's Sapphire Plus big styes one pound they only had one <laughs> and one of them there but um i love big styes because obviously you can cut fabric you can cut chipboard so i had to get it for a pound and it was brand new in packaging i've taken it out of the packaging but this will make a rosette there wasn't any picture to sort of see what it looked like but you can see it would have this mango you can't just sit under the camera so that bit has um is like going to turn into concertina fold that's going to be your bit behind it let's take a little bit in front that on top that bit hanging down as little ribbons it's going to be a little rosette like you've won 
the school gymnastics contest. I don't know, but I shall cut it out at some point and give that a go. I'm quite looking forward to that. Um, then I went onto a store where they were selling stuff for a pound. So I've got a whole little pack of stickers. It was one pound for the whole lot. And I just think they're really cute. Some of those will get gifted out. I got, this was a pound. I thought this was really cute. Tales from Wilson Woods. It's a bunch of cards and envelopes. I'll quickly show you them because they are really sweet. So ready-made cards. So that's quite useful to stick your images on. That one's quite autumnal. That's quite autumnal. But this one, I thought they were all meant to be autumnal, but that could do as Christmas. That could be a definite Christmas background. That could be a Christmas background. That one I really want to do as a Christmas background. Um, and that one's just a really pretty autumnal one as well. And look how cute the envelopes are. Which is really cute. So how many do you get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Or a dozen, as you can say. Um, I got these for one pound fifty. Bit of a possibly random purchase. It's a load of Bow Bunny journaling cards. So it's the only Bow Bunny one they had, and you know I love Bow Bunny, so I had to get it. But it is quite Hawaii themed, um, so I'll probably gift some of these out as well because I'm never going to use all of these. Apologies for mango. I'll just give you a bit of an idea. But a lot of the designs will go with my California scrapbooking. And yes, still scrapbooking my holiday from quite a while ago. As well as finishing off the New York holiday from last year, the Paris trip we went to, and anything else. That's how it goes when you're a scrapbooker, isn't it? It's just you never get anything done. And when you're also a card maker and everything else. So some of them have got like summer moments where who was with me? Circumstances. <laughs> they were forced to go. I don't know what circumstances might be, but yeah, that could be cute to go in. A bit of a, a little bit of a written record. I do love, like to add a bit of journaling in now. Makes it more interesting when you look back at it. So they will get used. They were £1.50, so it wasn't a massive splurge um, for those kind of random designs. What else did we get? Um, I got one of these. This was £2. And I'll tell you what's random about this. So it's a stamp and die set. It's called the Perfect Avocado. So it's like, is it an avocado? Is it a pear? Presumably it can be both a pear and an avocado. Um, and I really like the way they've done that. Obviously with a bit of, looks a bit like a bit of watercolour maybe. So I'm not that fussed about the stamp. We make a good pear. Puns aren't necessarily my my thing. But I like the dye. I really like avocado. <laughs> I'm a big avocado fan. Um, oh dear, what was that? So, yep, yeah, two pounds. I picked that one up. I'm inside here, this isn't very exciting either, to be honest. In the cute little bag, it is just a mini set of tweezers. Um, and just because I'm so funny about tweezers, they like need to they need to meet in a good point, and these ones happen to to do that, and they're only tiny, so I have to get them. <laughs> um, there was a stall that did lots of, what would you call it, laser cut wood shapes and I originally picked up loads of them and then I put lots of bits back and these are the ones that I've come away with. So I've got this set for £2 which is a big bear and three small bears and I want to make, um, cause, you know, I went to California on holiday, I want to do a sign that's like Yosemite 2019 with the bears on there, I just think that'd be really cute. Um, then I got a gingerbread house and this becomes 3D, I'm going to show you, um, so it's £2 as well. Recently looking behind me to see what mangoes destroyed. And I think this would look good for Christmas. I did one of these last year, well it's slightly different, it was a sleigh, I can't remember if I ever showed it on my channel, I presume I did. Or on Instagram or something, but I really enjoyed doing it and it became a nice centerpiece when people came over for Christmas in the middle of the table. I can't join that together, it just take a bit of force. So it is going to be, so it's going to have that on there, it's going to stand up of its own accord and if you glue gun that one, you could glue it on here to give it like an archway going into a house or it could go just stuck on there and be quite flat. It um, might be nice to make it more 3D, might it? I just thought it would be nice. It doesn't have to be a Christmas house, but it probably will be. Um, so I enjoyed that. And then these ones were being sold off because you can see the X display. They were £1.50 for three of them. And I mainly, I just really like that one for Christmas. I'm just going to 
going to do that one first. So just sort of glitter and fluff and feathers and all sorts of things. And then this one might wait until February because that would look so nice hanging for Valentine's. And then she's just really sweet. Although I find her ponytail slightly random, but I think once it's all decorated up, it might look um, more normal. So yeah, £1.50 for those three. What are you doing, Mango? That was a pound as well. I don't think I mentioned that. Some little Christmas wreaths. And that was a pound. These are to go in some Christmas displays as well. So let's open up another little bag of goodies. Yeah, this video goes on for ages. So where was this from? Cello Press. Um, I saw these and they were three pounds, which is quite a lot really, but I wanted them. I just, you know, I love my sewing things. And if you see a previous video, I've shown you like my sewing area. I'm gonna get some more of my trims and wrap them around these, partly for storage and partly just for display. So I just think they're cute. And then I saw these whilst I was there for a pound. I just thought they would look lovely on some of my more special projects. So they're kind of leather. Look at those. Aren't they pretty? Really nice. So that's in that little bag. It's in this little bag. It's just like Christmas, isn't it? For me. <laughs> um, so, oh yes, some beads and things. I thought these ones were really pretty to hang and make charms for a pound. So I got these bits to help me make the charms for 50p. Um, I thought these would be lovely in charms as well. Really sparkly for 50p. And then these are just some flowers to add to projects for 50p as well. So they're cute. Where should we go next, Mango? Um, I'll go on to some more hunky dory. Let's see. How many have we got? So they were doing these little packs of the topper packs, eight for £10. So I'll show you the ones that I chose, or you could buy them individually for £1.75. So I've got, this is my number one, the Twilight Kingdom Festive Fantasy. So some Christmas cards that have got unicorns in, quite sweet. And then you get obviously get the matching coloured card as well. Then I chose the purple one, which is Fairy Tale Castle. So that's just going to go with my um, Fairy Tale Ki Twilight Kingdom set that I own, and some matching cards. This one's going to go with the Under the S Under the Sea. What is it? Enjoy the adventures from the Twilight Under the Sea. So I've got the Twilight Under the Sea background stamping pads. So we'll go with that. I really like the card. So you know I like nautical things. Quiet down there, Mango. Um, the fairy ones, one of my favourite collections. I just love those fairies. It's all pretty. She's jumping. Um, another fairy one in the green as well. Pretty. So I was limited by what they, they had there. They didn't have every single, every single thing. This is another one from the Tri Twilight Kingdom Christmas collection in green. Pretty. Twilight Kingdom Christmas, a magical Christmas again. It's kind of like a sort of a Peter Pan character dancing around, sitting on the moon. And then this one just out there on its own, just because I, I like the <laughs> 12 days of Christmas. So yeah, I got that one. So I got those 10 and also picked up the latest Hunky Dory magazine. There was no offer on this. It was 8 99 but I had been wanting it already. Um, and because I, I love Hunky Dory, I like the ideas in there. And it's a really good quality magazine. Um, you know, they make it with nice paper and it gives you ideas just for their pro products. You also get some nice quality paper in there. Show you nice, pretty pink colour. It does remind me a bit of New Year's, but I'll probably use it for birthday because I don't give New Year's cards. Um, and a free gift, if you can call it a free gift when you've paid for it, um, is in this bag. So we're going to try and zoom through this. It's going to be one of my longer videos. So you get the Moonstone embossing folder. So I like that. We're lovely for Christmas. Get the die, which I really like. I think that's really nice for, you know, friends who like a glass of Prosecco. Um, you get some more cardstock in that design. It's matte cardstock. And I love how thick their cardstock is. 
and then another oh, castor that's really pretty and then you get some of these toppers like i love that one as i say it does look very new year's -y, that one doesn't it and then this one's a bit more birthday <coughs> sorry still suffering with the the allergies very pretty so that's what came in that magazine i think that is their latest one they have out at the moment then i got some dies this one was reduced to 9.99 so to go with my um making of journals um i had wanted this one before but it was more expensive before so 9.99 is okay price really big obviously tonic dies always really big um and the outside one i used to make a little journal or album whatever you want to call it of that shape and then i'll probably cut maybe that lacy one and insert that as to have a so it's got you know matted lead however they say and then that one in the middle would make a really um nice label one wouldn't it so i'm gonna get started making another album i also picked up a couple of other dies i've taken out of their packaging i'll show you the packaging and i'll show you the dies and this one me to you and dream so picked up this one just looking to see where they are because they're the ones that fit in the pocket lettuce. So it's just another style for me when I'm cutting out pocket lettuce. So there you can see the dies um, and the dream, because you know I love word dies. And it's got the inner bit and the outer layer. So I do like it when Tonic do dies like that. So I had to get those. Then we know I love Crafter's Companion. So yes, I treated myself to a Crafter's Companion stamp set. And this one is one of their layering background ones. So Christmas. Um, I'll get it out so you can see how big they are. So it says that it's like 3.5 by 5, something like that. I can't remember exactly inches, but it was sort of fitted. And then I'd probably put another, sort of put it on a, a background that's bigger than that to make the card a bit bigger. But yeah, that's going to be really good fun to play with. Eight ninety nine, um, yeah, Christmassy stuff. Looking forward to using that. Then I'm getting towards the end. Don't panic. Got some distress oxides because this tends to be a craft show. This tends to be the only place when I buy distress oxides. So some very dull looking colours this time. Um, pumice stone. It's a grey because a grey is often useful. Um, ground espresso, which. I want it to be a brown and every time I look at it I think it looks really black so I'm hoping it's going to come out brown because I wanted a dark brown um, and then forest moss which is a deeper green so yes yeah, and kind of dark colours but they were three for 12 pounds so got those then I got these I've never tried these before but I thought I'd give them a go they were 7 99 so it's just about me trying something new Powdered peach, lotus flower, and mint macaroon nouveau hybrid inks. So don't know much about these really, but those colours are beautiful. That's why I chose them because they're really pretty. Um, and I'm going to give them a go. I do like to use some coloured inks. And then I think this is the last thing. Hopefully, um, I got these pens and sort of left them to last because I was slightly disappointed. So I got them out in the car and tried them. This one works. This one works doesn't work it's dried out and it's from a craft show so I can't even take it back to the shop I'm really gutted because I really wanted to give the Nouveau alcohol markers a go because I like the way they came in colour packs but it's not much good if it's dried out so yeah let me know <laughs> if you work at Nouveau and you know what I can do about the fact that that's um, dried out whether you would give me the money back when I probably haven't got a receipt for it yeah it'll be interesting but a bit disappointed that it was dried out but i know that craft shows tend to sell off old stock um that's why you can sometimes get stuff a bit cheaper and, and it is what it is isn't it that could well have been the store that i got it from well, that's the store that i got something from and i think that's the store that i got this one from but yeah hixie soft another company that you can look up if you're interested in any of those things so yes i've clearly spent too much money bought too many things but it was so much fun going around <laughs> craft shows i can't resist doing it and they only come twice a year so that's that's a strange excuse and we'll just have to not eat and drink anything for a while now 
um, to make up for it. So yeah, I shall see you very soon in the next video and I'll let you know how all this stuff goes. Bye.